Antelope adventure. Philippa and I, looking back, it's astonishing to remember that we managed to keep the secret to ourselves. We couldn't tell Mama and Papa, of course, because they were both in India, which is why we were living with Grandfather when it all began. That's why we were at the seaside at that time of year, so that Grandfather could take his picture postcard photographs. If we hadn't been at the seaside, the antelope adventure would never have happened to us at all. I'm glad it didn't happen to someone else. How much longer, Grandfather? It's cold. We're famished. Last one today, children. I promise you. Last one today. Now, very good. Don't move. Now. As soon as the wind drops, freeze. I'm frozen now. Oh, the, the sun's, sun's gone, gone in. in. Oh, pack up, pack up, pack everything, children. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get off in my camera case. Oh, 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 oh terrible. We've been oh, oh. so Who's got the picnic basket? I thought you were carrying it. I left it for you. Oh, no. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Mr. Mr. Oh, Mr. Mr. Yes, that's what I said to you. We're absolutely furious. Come on. Here they come. Mr. Gustav, on your usual table. Oh, uh, apologies, Miss Mincing. Uh, we, we'll be down just as soon as we've changed into some dry clothes. As you wish. It's your broth that's getting chilled. I trust it is not your intention to leave your apparatus in the vestibule overnight. Rub, girl, rub. Don't dab at it. We are a holiday establishment, Mr. Gustanton, not a commercial business house. Of course, Miss Mincing. Of course, Miss Mincing, yes, yes. I was wondering if I might avail myself of the, the, the darkness of your cellar again after dinner. I have several photographic plates I would like to develop. If you must, Mr. Garstanton, if you must. But will you please see that the doors are kept firmly shut? Oh, I will. I will indeed. The odour of chemicals still pervades the parlour from your previous experiments. And there was a distinct taste of something in the cabinet pudding at luncheon. You must consider the other guests, hmm? There aren't any other guests. Should it be stupid? Stop here. Come on, Mother. Great expectations? No, thank you. The Tempest? Very funny. Uncle Tom's cabin? No. You're just saying no to everything. That's because there's nothing that sounds interesting. What else is there? Gulliver's Travels. Yes, please. In our passage to the East Indies, we were driven by a violent storm to the northwest of Van Diemen's Land. The seamen spied a rock within half a cable's length of the ship. But the wind was so strong that we were driven directly upon it and immediately split. Six of the crew, of whom I was one, let down the boat into the sea. We therefore entrusted ourselves to the mercy of the waves. Oh, it's no good, Philippa. We'll never find it now. We'll have to go back. Oh, one last look. We haven't searched over there yet. It's probably swept out to sea. Miles away after last night's storm. Shows how much you know, Mr. Clever Clock. Look over there! Save! Betsy then we'll be late for breakfast. Bill! Philippa! Look! Over there! Where? I can't see anything. Yes, you can. Over 
rock. Looks like a sort of rotten ship or something. Except that it's in oh. the square. Over there, of course. But I thought we cut up. Come on. I'm going out and have a look at her. Spellbooks. Spellbooks, wake up. You were right, Brilka was wrong. Wake up, Spellbooks. Oh, Brilka. Brilka, wake up, please. You were wrong. The charts weren't forgeries. It does exist. Wake up, Brilka. Please wake up. Stupid girl. You don't know who it might belong to. Yes, I do. It's mine. It's treasure trove. It's finders keepers. Brilka. Brilka, you've got to wake up. They've found the antelope. Well, tell us. Spellbush, help me get work out of sight. Where are the rest? Lost. All drowned in last night's storm. There's just the three of us. What is this land? We are here, Spellbush. We've arrived, just as you said. Uh, Quindlestris, Trinia, the country of the giants. What do we do now? Wait, Gerald! Gerald! I. Spellbush Freelock, Master Navigator, do hereby claim this land and all of its dominions by right of conquest in the name of His Most Mighty Majesty, Emperor Golbasco. Oh, now, Spellbush. Monarch of all monarchs, taller than the sons of men. Later, Spellbush. Don't interrupt me while I'm claiming sovereignty. Taller than the sons of men, etc., uh, etc. Et while you stand there, etc., cetera, etc., cetera I'm lying here in rags. Completely at their mercy. Wouldn't it be better if we hid now and claim sovereignty later? Very well. It's amazing, Phil. It's almost as if it was really real. Oh, hurry, Gerald. We'll be hours late for breakfast. Grandfather's going to be furious. He's pinched our boat. The giant's got the antelope. It's piracy. Spellbush. That's what it is. International high seas piracy. <sighs> She's gone. He sunk her. My entire wardrobe was on board that vessel. Oh. An outright act of unprovoked maritime aggression. You know what this means, don't you? It means we can't go home. It means I haven't got a thing to wear. It means war. Oh, no. That's what it means. It means that we are in a state of war. Still, Still boss. boss. We'll read later. Please allow me to oh, 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 Grandfather catches you. It's all your fault. I told you we'd miss breakfast. Where's Grandfather gone to? Did he say? Chemist shop for some of his photographicals. I think we have missed breakfast. And he says ain't nobody got to touch that neither. Mentioning no names. Or else they'll be in a bigger kettle of fish. Come on. I bet at least I can catch some toast. All clear. Where are we? Can you see? 
It's all white. A great white snowy wasteland. I can't go out in the snow like this. It can't be snow. It isn't cold enough. It's a tablecloth. It's a giant's tablecloth. I'm hardly dressed for dinner, either. For all you know, Belka, we are the dinner. Shut up, Bristol. And give me a hand. <laughs> the sooner we're out of here, the better. I, Spellbush Freelock, discoverer and adventurer, do claim this edifice and all that situate in it by right of exploration in the name of his most mighty... There's no time for that now, Spellbush. We've got to find a way down before the giants return. get one of us down. And whoever goes can find a means of escape for the two that are left behind. Good luck, Spellbush. I'd go like a shot if I had anything fit to go in. Yes. Cowards. might hold it. What? A thing. Find us some food. Ah. Oh, don't forget to look for something I can wear. Hmm. Don't ask me. I don't know how you can pass some time this morning. But I know what I've got on my plate. Work and plenty of it. I can't be doing with you under my feet all day. I'll tell you that for nothing. chump when she finds out. I'll hide it somewhere out the way and hope she doesn't notice it. And if I was you two, I'd make myself scarce. Well, go on then. Scoot. <sighs> oh. ah! Marooned. Marooned? Get oh. back! Well, what are we going to do? There's nothing we can do. Except wait for Spellbush.
Well, come on now, come on, come on. Who put you up to it? Put us up to what? Or did you by any chance study that article in my summer number of the uh, photographic camera? Which article? What about? Oh, dear. I know I'm a bit absent-minded, but I'm not that much of a muggins. Now, come along, own up. Well, it had to be someone in this establishment, and Miss... Miss... Um, oh, uh, uh, Mincing. Yes, it's hardly the one for pranks. And neither would <laughs> trick photography appear to be Millie's forte. What's trick photography? Oh, come off it. I forgive you, this time. Yeah, but who did you get to dress up as the sailors, huh? Now, where the dickens did you get those costumes from? Mm, at the time. Well, well, we'll continue this discussion at a later date. offer from Captain William Pritchard, master of the Antelope, who was making a voyage to the South Sea. We set sail from Bristol on May the 4th, 1699. Well? Well what? It was the Antelope. The ship in the bay this morning. It was called the Antelope. I told you it was too real for me, Molly. They're real, Phil. They've come all the way from Lilliput. They're somewhere in this house. Oh, don't be stupid. It's true! And what about the straps on the picnic hamper? I'll show you. According to the Blafescu Convention, you can't keep us locked up. Oh. Uh, Are you going to let them out? Not yet. Where's Spellbush? What have you done with Spellbush? Another one. He must have got out somehow. Fetch him something to eat. You, you, you won't catch Spellbush. He's big and strong. He's clever, too. Yes. He's sure to get us out. Tea parties always have them broken up. Help! Help me! Help me, please! Please help me! Here! Down here! Help me, please! Covered. Oh. Release me! Release me at once, sir, or you'll suffer for it! If you do, you dare and I'll drop you! I, Spellbush Freelock, navigator and discoverer, do claim you as my prisoner by, by right of conquest. Isn't he dear? Look at his dear little toes. They've all got tiny little toenails. I am not a dear, madam. I am Spellbush Freelock, official diplomatic emissary of His Most Imperial Majesty, and Pragobasto Mamari Niflami Gudilio Shepherd Ali Gu the 17th. And, and it is my duty to... 
to warn you, you that, that. Hello, Skullbush. Back again? <clears throat> if the ship's log ever turns up, Tristram, you will enter in it that on this day I, Skullbush Freelock, did take us prisoner two of the native population. Oh, ah! Take him up to our room. Pass me that. Get some milk and bring those biscuits. Won't be easy, Phil, if we do decide to keep them. They'll need to be looked after. If we looked after those tadpoles, there'd be much more trouble than keeping tadpoles. And there'll have to be a secret. No one must know. No grown-ups will better take them away from us. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, here's my proposal. Now, these two are merely children. They're enormous. Even so, Fristrom, they are still only children. So, it should be easier to outwit them than the adults of the species. Children so, or not? So, we'll go along with everything that they suggest until it suits us otherwise. Agreed? Children or not, escaping won't be easy. Well, it won't be easy now. But I think we'll match them. They're enormous. We'll have to see that they're well fed and make them clothes. Feed them, clothe them, take them walks. All sorts of things. Won't be a bit like tadpoles. I just want you to know before we take it on, it won't be easy. It won't be easy, no. But it will be fun. Mm -hmm.